Yo, Hot Topic has been hitting it out of the park lately with all this USA Sailor Moon merchandise, so let's talk about it. Also, my mom-in-law sent me this Tokyo treat box and I'm hungry because I haven't had lunch yet. So this is a great excuse to share some of these Tokyo treats with you, as well as talk about some USA merchandise. And if you have any questions, comment down below and I'll be sure to answer those for you. So first off, I have never received a Tokyo treat box, so I didn't even know what was in here. And I was so excited about it because I love subscription model boxes. They're so much fun. So this one is called the Mount Fuji Snack Venture. I'm not gonna spoil anything for myself, so I'm gonna put this to the side. Okay, I didn't realize it, but this thing is filled to the brim. So uh, I'm just gonna like grab one thing and then we'll talk about some Sailor Moon stuff. Are they wafers? Are these wasabi wafers? Yep. Yep. That's wasabi. That is wasabi, definitely. Wasabi is very strong. <laughs> I this is gonna be so much fun. Oh Lord. All right, let's talk about the first item. All three of these lunch boxes I purchased from Big Bad Toy Store. These feature really beautiful art on the front as well as matching art on the back. They are like nice classic tin lunch boxes. So they have that vintage appeal. They come with these really cute thermoses. So these are for like soup thermoses. So you have a little cup and then you have this piece that can unscrew and you can put your soup inside of here or your drink if you choose. So that way it won't leak whenever you're traveling with this and then you can put this cup on top of it. Now this is not stainless steel or anything. It's not gonna keep your drinks or your soup super hot over a long period of time. You will have to heat stuff up again. And this does say do not microwave hand wash only. So make sure that you're heating stuff up in a different container before putting it back in here to travel with it. But look at this thermos, it is so cute. And I love that it matches the lunchbox. I've got this one. Also, I wanted to mention that the art on this is kind of embossed so you can feel it. It's very cool, it's kind of 3D. This one has the same art on the back of it. And we have this really cute thermos with Sailor Moon and Tuxedo Mask on it. Very, very adorable. And this one is probably my favorite because it has that classic like Sailor Moon logo. And it reminds me of watching Sailor Moon in the 90s so much. So here we have one that has the English logo at the top and the five inner guardians. And this one has a really pretty yellow thermos that features all of the five inner guardians. So cute, I love it. Given that the first one was wasabi, I'm a little scared. Uh, I'll try this one. Okay, here we have a little teeny tiny snack. It's gonna be fun to read the little cheat sheet afterwards and find out what the heck all this stuff was. Oh, it's a Mount Fuji. It's a, yeah, oh, that makes sense. Okay, so that is kanji for Yama or mountain. It's a little Mount Fuji. It's Fuji Yama, that's cute. Okay, so what's inside of here? Mmm, it's like a sweet cream. Mmm. Oh, it's good. Okay, that one was really tasty. Like a sweet uh, cracker cookie thing. I feel like all this sugar is just gonna get me super hyper. <sighs> I'm healthy. So because I bought the entire line of Hot Topic fashion in the fall collection, I had a lot of hot cash. So I spent it on toys like these. Here we have an adorable Luna and Artemis keychain. These are plushies. They're not heavy at all whatsoever. Each of them has a nice little clip as well as the keychain loop. Not sure if I want to put these on my keychain because oftentimes like plushy things get super dirty when they're on a keychain, but they're so cute. Ah, I just love them. They're adorable. Embroidered instead of printed. If you're looking for like a stocking stuffer, these are so cute. Okay, it's time for another snack out of my Tokyo treat box. Oimo sable? I don't know what that means, <laughs> but that's what the packaging looks like. It looks like there's teeny tiny little sesame seeds in this one. It looks like another cracker. Mmm, mmm. There is a hint of sugar in this one too. Also very tasty. Okay, I like that one too. Okay, here we have a kaleidoscope magnet. Okay, it's strong. Yay, we're good. Who made this? Oh, Monogram. Okay, so Monogram makes a lot of magnets. I wonder if Monogram is gonna come out with all the wands. I would like to collect like all of these and have them all set up kind of back here on my magnetic display. I think that would be so cute. We're opening this now. I don't know what it is. <laughs> what is that? Ooh, is it gum? It smells like apple. It looks like taffy, guys. It tastes just like Haichu. Okay. Bit of a guessing game with this one, but it totally tastes like haichu, like apple haichu. 
pretty good, like it. So there are three figures in this lineup. There's one of Luna, Artemis, and Diana, and these are called the Pal Dolce Collection. They're supposed to be each of the cats on top of a cute little cake or some kind of baked item. Look how cute this is. She's on top of a little cake and she's got like a little wafer in her mouth. She does have the blue eyes for like Sailor Moon Cosmos. She's got cute little eyebrows. She's got her whiskers. We don't have any toe beans, probably because she's supposed to be placed on top of this cake. And then this cake is the eternal compact and it's sitting on this cute little gold plate that's adorable she's so cute i'm glad i got her on sale though because she was like 20 bucks or something like that and i didn't want to spend that much money on this teeny tiny little figure okay tokyo treat don't let me down i'm gonna eat this thing oh crunky i'm familiar with crunky as a brand it smells like chocolate looks like chocolate that looks like a milk dud does it not? But it's crunchy. I don't know who at Hot Topic decided to come out with this cosmetic bag, but thank you, whoever you are. I love the Luna print on the front of this. Not new art by any means, but very cute. Love that we have a pair of ears up at the top and a crescent moon. This is a zippered pouch and it is a cosmetic bag. That's how they're selling it. Uh, this was $23.90 MSRP. It's got a really cute little Luna emblem on the zipper. Ooh. Oh, God. Ooh, smells weird. Oh, it's kind of like a suede velvety material on the inside. That's super soft. I like that. That's nice. And it is very tough. It's very hard. It's not going to fall over or collapse on you. Okay. Okay. Hot topic. This is a good product. I see you. Is that a strap? Oh, you know what would have been really cool is if they turned this back piece into like a strap so you could hold it. Missed opportunity. This is called sour paper. I have a feeling I'll like this too. So that's what it looks like. It smells like apple. Mm, chewy. It's good. It is very sour. Ooh, do you want to see something like super cute, but not Sailor Moon? So I picked up these My Neighbor Totoro slippers. They're like house slippers, but they have a nice hard bottom to them. The interior is very, very soft. I have to put these on right now and uh, see how they feel because these are very cute. I'm going to try these on right now. I need to make sure they fit. <gasps> Yay! They fit perfectly, y'all. I feel like I'm going to fall and this will be bad news. Look, <laughs> they're so cute. Oh, wait, no, uh, Tokyo treat. Okay, uh, what's next? Is this a marshmallow? Ma marshmallow? Marshmallow, I can read it. Yay, these look weird. <laughs> Cooking? You can cook with them? I don't know about that. These are definitely marshmallows. They smell like grape. That's really weird. <laughs> They're like marshmallowy uh, chewiness on the outside. And then the interior is grape flavored and it has this teeny tiny little bit of like liquid, like a liquid grape, like jelly almost consistency. Very interesting. Tasty, but very sweet. So, and, and given that it's marshmallow, I could probably only have like one or two in a sitting. Okay, speaking of Ghibli, this is a very cute coaster and teacup set. Now, the reason why I was interested in this is because it says the teacup is dishwasher and microwave safe. The coaster is hand wash only because it's made out of, I wanna say wood. So here we have a very cute teacup. Now it does seem like it is gold foil. So I don't know about this whole microwave safe thing. That might like craze or it might end up like burning the foil, but it's probably dishwasher safe just fine. And then this is the coaster. It is made out of wood and the teacup goes right on top of it. It looks very nice and this is nice and heavy, nice high quality. It's got like some laser etching of suit sprites in there. What do you think? I think it's adorable. This is a new shirt I got from Hot Topic. It's in a size small. I bought it because it's got a glittery moon on the front. Not gonna lie. That's why I was interested. I am digging this glittery moon. That is so pretty. And I like that the print is in pink. And as usual, if you are interested in try-ons or really quick reviews, I also post a lot of those over on my Instagram, which is Sailor Snubs. I still have a lot of snacks left, so let's try some potato chips. These look green, which makes me worry that they're probably wasabi potato chips. I'm scared, I'm a little scared. I can't place that flavor. They might be seaweed. They're not spicy at all, so it's not wasabi at all. Interesting taste. Um, crunchy, kind of tastes like, I wanna say seaweed, but maybe not. They're pretty tasty though. Okay, I have several smaller items that I got from Hot Topic during Hot Cash, including some jewelry. 
Usually I do not purchase Hot Topic jewelry because I, I don't like the lower quality of their jewelry. I just love that design. I think it's so cute and I really like all the cute little sparkly textures in these earrings. So that's why I purchased those. I also got these ones, which would be great for cosplay. So if you are cosplaying as Eternal Sailor Moon, these would be wonderful to wear with your cosplay. So they look really good. So I also picked up this choker, which has the same kind of gold metal as those cosplay earrings. This is a really nice vibrant red velvet material for a choker. Also would be excellent as cosplay. What does that look like to you? It looks like soup to me. They're like cheesy puffs, puff balls, like little cheesy poofs, kind of bland. They don't taste like much at all. I mean, they taste fine, but there's not a lot of flavor in them. So they're like corn puffs almost, like corn poofs. Okay, definitely not my favorite thing in the Tokyo Treat Box. Since I had a bunch of hot cash to use up, I decided to grab one of these little keychains so that I could hit the minimum in order to use my hot cash. So this was $9.90. It's just a very cute little PVC keychain of Luna. And this was made by Great Eastern Entertainment. We have seen a lot of Luna beanies in the past few years. So this is a beanie from Box Lunch. It's made by BioWorld. Cool. BioWorld makes some good stuff. This one's kind of a fluffy, furry material, and you've got that nice embroidery of the moon on the front of it. The ears are padded, which is nice. I like that they're nice and stiff. So the interior looks more like, almost like a sweater material. So I'm wondering if this will be really warm. Oh, cool. I like that it fits my head. A lot of beanies like do not fit, and my hair is very thick. So if a beanie is on the smaller side, it tends to not cover up my ears, but this one does cover up my ears. That's, oh, I like it. I like this beanie. Okay, this is a good item. So Monogram came out with series five magnets. There are six different magnets that you could get. These include all of the inner Sailor Guardians as well as the Kaleida Moon Scope, of course. I also purchased this separate Sailor Moon, uh, which is a little bit different from the previous style. You'll notice that her hands are in a different position. So here we have the last model that came out and then we have the new one. So let's go ahead and open these and find out if I got all five magnets or all six magnets or if I got any duplicates. Yep. Okay, there we have our first duplicate. It's the same exact Sailor Moon. <laughs> That's so weird. I wonder why they put her in a blind bag too. They should have done like a different style. <gasps> Sailor Jupiter, all right. I need one, two, three more, and then I'll have all five of the inner guardians. Oh, I got a Kaleida Moon Scope. All right, so that's exactly the same as the single Kaleida Moon Scope that I also bought as a single one. So not a blind. So if you have that one, you might not want to <laughs> try your hand at these blind bags. Oh, another Jupiter. Okay. So I got two, two, and two. So a lot of duplicates. And oh, uh, all right. That was eh, not great. Definitely not great. So yeah, that's the thing I don't like about blind bags. A lot of times it's a waste of your money. So I have three of these now. I have two of her and then two of her. Okay, well, all right. So would I rebuy blind bags online? Eh, not for those. The pickings are not that great. It's not very random. So yeah, I would say skip those. So I got this sweater in a size medium. Hmm. I think this might be a little bit too big for me. It's, it's pretty large, I would say. Uh, but this was from Hot Topic. This was another one of those hot cash items. I love that Totoro's fuzzy on the front of this. That's so cool. And he's embroidered. Now the inside of this is really nice and that's a little itchy. Like they didn't take off the plastic material for the embroidery very well. So I would wear something like right underneath this. And because it is the winter time and I'm all about wearing cozy stuff, I got this very cute set in a size medium. This has a pair of fuzzy like loungewear almost. Look how fuzzy they are. Oh, and there's a little embroidery baby Totoro on there. Oh, that's cute. Look at all the little suit sprites. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I got those shorts. This came as a set, so both pieces are a medium. And it came with this crop top medium that has Totoro on the front of it, and it is a hood. It's a little hoodie. Okay, it's time for another snack out of my Tokyo Tree box. <laughs> What do you want to guess that these are some kind of fish flavored item? That would be my guess. These almost look like another corn chip type of item. 
Yeah, kind of a fishy flavor. This is a very nice crossbody pouch. I really like the Luna P print on here. Now I did notice, cause I used this for quite a few weeks when I was traveling, some of the print is coming off on the back. And I think that's just from it rubbing against my jeans or rubbing against the clothing that I was wearing at the time. The strap for this does not come undone and it's not adjustable. So it only comes as one size and one size only. Now on the other side of that, we got these two interesting bags from Hot Topic. These look almost exactly the same, except there's a Chase variant and the regular variant. This is a Luna P crossbody bag. It does have a chain, but up at the top of the chain, you get this fake leather shoulder strap. So you lay this on your shoulder, that way it won't like clip your hair or it won't get uncomfortable on your shoulder when you put weight on it. So I do appreciate that they put this at the top of the shoulder strap. The strap is not adjustable. The front of this features a cute print of Luna P. It is this like fake or faux leather material. It is a hard pack, so it's a hard bag. It's very tough and structured. So there is a zipper compartment on the interior and the print on the interior features Luna P. This looks to be the exact same print that you get on the dress that Hot Topic recently released as well for uh, Black Lady. So that's pretty cool. When you unzip it all the way, luckily the zipper does go pretty far. However, I will say, even though it goes pretty far, it's still kind of tough to open. So it, I think part of that is just because it's so structured. So it is kind of hard to pull it apart. That's not necessarily a bad thing because this is like a cosplay bag. Now Hot Topic did come out with two versions of this bag. That's the regular version. And this is called the Chase variant. The Chase variant was much harder to find. In fact, if you ordered it online, you had a chance of getting a Chase variant, but chances are you would get the normal one. So if this was the one that you wanted to get and you didn't want to play chances with it, your best bet would be to go into a Hot Topic store and find one in stock. Uh, none of my stores had one in stock, even though I put my name down so that they could call me if they did receive one. So I never got a call. However, a wonderful, wonderful fellow Sailor Moon collector found this in her store. She found two in her store, uh, which tells me that they are still stocking these and she sold it to me at cost. So I just wanna say a huge thank you to her for sending this out to me. A lot of people were reselling these on Mercari for like, 175 to 250 dollars which definitely feels like scalping because the actual price of this is 39 dollars and 90 cents it's 40 bucks so i would not spend 200 dollars on a purse that originally the msrp was 40 dollars that's scalping and i'm not okay with it so the big difference with this variant is you have the black moon clan emblem at the top of luna p's face and you also have this furry material as opposed to the faux leather material. She is very, very soft. Honestly, I kind of prefer the faux leather material because that way it's it doesn't get as dirty as the furry one. However, if you do want to cosplay Black Lady, then this one would make a lot more sense since Luna P does go evil when she turns evil as well. So this one features Along with the pins and the gold accents, it also has additional studs and glow-in-the-dark back print. One of those additional studs says limited edition Chase right there. And the interior print says Her Universe Limited Edition Chase 2023. We have that same print of Luna P all on the interior. Again, we have that zipper interior pouch. So really, really cute. These are stickers I just happened to find at my local box lunch and Hot Topic stores. Uh, the Sailor Moon ones were kind of messed up, but I was able to flatten these so I can still use them. They're still usable. We also had Neo Queen Serenity ones. These came out at box lunch. Super cute. Let's see, the price is $2.99 for these and then $4.90 for the Neo Queen Serenity ones. That's kind of pricey for a sticker. I am absolutely obsessed with this hair clip. It's one of my favorite things ever. I'm so happy I was able to get my hands on it. I loved it so much that I bought two. I also bought an extra one to give away. So if you are seeing this during the giveaway period, make sure to enter that giveaway. But this is a metal hair clip. So it's a very, very nice, high quality hair clip. It's also really nice and sturdy and strong. So even though I have very thick curly hair, I have like Shirley Temple curls, I just straighten it. It still holds my hair and it holds it very, very steady. So I was quite impressed with the quality of this purchase. 
Good job, Hot Topic. Really like this. I love the cute little sparkly gemstones. I like the little dangly thing that we have at the bottom. However, I feel like that might break off at one point or another. I mentioned the bunnies previously, and these are another pair of earrings that I picked up because I love the little snack bag. I thought it was so cute. And I'm always on the lookout for stationary items, so I picked up this pen with a cute little PVC or silicone Sailor Moon up at the top. This is a lunchbox. It's very cute. It is insulated. However, I don't know if this is going to be leak proof or not. It's probably not. So keep that in mind if you put like ice in here. But this is a cute little like ramen style lunchbox. I like the size of it. I like the print. I like that there's a print on the front and the back. And we have this nice cute little pink strap and it's zippered. It is kind of collapsible. So unlike my tin lunchboxes, uh, this one is more padded. So this is like a packable one that you can put in a travel bag. I am always down for some enamel pins. So I picked up this blind packaging set of six different enamel pins. And luckily I was able to get all six online. They were pretty bad selections. A lot of people would order them online and get multiples of the same one. I ended up getting all of mine in store and the selection was much better. I think I got like five out of the six that I needed. So I purchased the other one off of a seller on Mercari. Each of these are lovely enamel pins. This is like a soft enamel and they are gold plated, which I appreciate. And they all have little bells on them. So these are supposed to be like omamori. I think they're called omamori which you can find at shrines in Japan. So we have one for each of the inner guardians. So you've seen Mercury and Venus. This one is for Mars. This one is Jupiter's. And then we have the two cute ones. We have Moon with the pretty roses at the bottom. I love hers. And we have Luna, which I don't know. Of these two, I feel like Luna might be my favorite one because it has the cute little Luna head on it. And it has the crescent moon at the bottom and the little clouds and stars. So I feel like this one had a lot more personality, but all of them are very, very cute. And I love that they kind of signify something that's Japanese culture with the omomoris, the little lucky charms. So yeah, if you're looking for something that is really cute and you like enamel pins, each of these has two pin posts on the back and they're really nice. They're very nice, high quality pins. So I was very happy with these. Oh, I need to open another snack. Uh, This one? Let's do this one. This says World Heritage at the top. That's Yama. So this is probably Fujiyama. Green tea boucher. I don't know what that means. Let's find out. Oh, this is fascinating. You know, I was expecting crackers and like hard pack items that can go in your pantry for an age, but this is like a, a bread. It's like a pastry. That is so weird. Oh yeah, that's a total pastry. Okay. Mmm. Ooh, that's yummy. That just falls apart in my mouth. It looks like there's a green paste on the inside of it though. So, oh, it is green tea. Ooh, yummy. There's a green tea like paste green tea tasting paste on the inside of this little uh, bread pastry item. It's almost like a donut. Like it falls, it just falls apart. It's so soft. That's yummy. I like it. Hot Topic does all these really cute poster collections. Uh, these are random. So you do have to like purchase them blind box, but they are 11 by 17. So a pretty decent size for these. They are made by Great Eastern Entertainment. And in the box, you could receive any of these. So there's eight on this side, or you could get eight on this side, eight of those randomly selected posters. So there's 16 total. I ended up getting two, four, six, eight, ten, ten 10 different ones. I'll show you those. Here are the first two that came together. So we have this one of the inner guardians. This is a really pretty poster. I like that one a lot. And we also got, ooh, one of my favorite images from the classic anime. I love that these are classic anime Sailor Moon and not the newer crystal versions. So these are cute. Okay, those are nice. I like them. Ooh, Sailor Mars. Awesome. Oh, that's cool. So we got a single image of Sailor Mars on a poster and we got Sailor Venus. <gasps> cool. Oh, she's so pretty. Oh, precious. One of Prince Endymion and Princess Serenity. And ooh, Okay, that one's awesome. A single image of Sailor Moon by herself with some pretty pink doilies. Oh, we got a classic image of Sailor Moon with the guardians behind her, as well as the Silver Millennium Palace, the Moon Kingdom. This one will go really well with, I have another one of Queen Nehalania and all her baddies. So this will look really good next to that one. 
with Queen Barrel and the Four Generals from the first season. And lastly, we have, oh, we have Sailor Moon with all the girls in their school uniforms. Cool, I got all different ones. So happy to see different ones, yay. Here we have the Inner Guardians. That's some cute art. I like that the art is slightly different with this one. You can kind of tell by their eyes, like look at Sailor Venus's eyes. Moving on, I love this cute little desk lamp. It is very small, it is made out of plastic, but man, this thing is one of my favorite things that came out this year. It's so cute and I cannot believe that it's still in stock online. You may be able to find this in stores as well. There's only one setting for this, ta-da, and it does light up. There's two LEDs inside of this, one at the top of the moon and one at the bottom of the crescent moon. So you do see a bit of a variance in terms of like how bright the top and the bottom get. This does take batteries, it's not rechargeable, so you'd have to put your own batteries in there. Very similar to the Proplicas. I think it's the same battery size. And this was actually made by Just Funky. So I think they did a quality job with this. I think it's so cute and it goes well on like any desk or any collection room like mine right here. So I love having this back here. Now I've been slowly collecting all of these new versions of the manga so I can read through them and see how the translations differ from the previous announcements or the previous releases of the English manga, English language. This one, I, I got at Target, it was 20% off, great price. This is number four, has Sailor Jupiter on the front and this is a part of the Naoko Takeuchi collection, which is the newest updated version of the translations. It's all black and white, so no color pages in here. You do read it like you would classically in Japan. And these are smaller than the Eternal collection that came out uh, many years ago at this point. Okay, I have the packaging in here, but not the actual items, but I'll show you a video of these items because they're really cute. If you are looking for some thumb grips for your Nintendo Switch or Switch Lite, these came out from Great Eastern Entertainment and they were 1490 MSRP from, I believe, Hot Topic. It's a pair of four thumb grips, which are Sailor Moon inspired thumb grips and they are licensed. So I was really excited about that. They do fit my Nintendo really, really well. I have the, uh, what is it, the OLED Nintendo, the newest one. They fit great and they make it so, so much easier to play like Legend of Zelda. So I'm very happy with the thumb grips. I've kept them on there since I got them several months ago and I highly recommend, I do like them. This is a huge bag of Kit Kats that came in this box. Oh my goodness. What kind are these? I do think it's green tea just based on like the texture and the flavor. The flavor hits just like other candy green tea items that I've had like that. Um, where did it go? like this little pastry thing. It tastes very similar to that. Now, I'll be honest, I have not been purchasing a lot of kitchen items because most of them are hand wash only and do not microwave. And I'm bored of that. So I stopped purchasing most of those items unless I'm really, really attracted to the design of the item and then I'll put it in my collection room. This is another bowl. Uh, let's see, top rack dishwasher safe, microwave safe. Hence why they have the lid on here to allow for steam to get out. So now I know why that lid exists. Now I know why we have this little thingy on there. It's for steam. This is such a nice thing to have, especially if you like to make like at home ramen or you like soups. Who made this? Keep it going just funky. Give us more like dishwasher safe and microwave safe things so that I can recommend them because we love these. Yes, we are adults, we're very busy. I want things that I can automate the cleaning process of. Let's open this from the Tokyo Treat Box. I don't know what this is. It's from Suntory, which also makes beer. Uh, Deca Vita. Deca Vita? Yep, no idea. <laughs> what is this? It's some kind of carbonated beverage. I don't know what flavor that's supposed to be, but it's definitely carbonated. What are you supposed to be? I'm going to find out when I look at that cheat sheet. All right, this is one of those items that is hand wash only, but I bought it because I like the design. So here we have this very cute iridescent teacup. Oh, oh my gosh, I almost forgot. Before I leave, I also picked up a pair of advent calendars. I'm so excited about these. I'll do separate videos for each of these because that'll be super fun to open and share with you. So if you want spoilers, definitely keep an eye out for the video where I unbox these and show you all the things that are included. But this is the first year that we've gotten a Sailor Moon advent calendar. I'm so glad that I purchased one of these. It showed up and it's so beautiful. I think it has a magnetic, yeah, it's a magnetic closure. And then you have 369, there's 12 days 
for this advent calendar with all the different characters on it. So I will be opening this in a separate video, so keep an eye out and subscribe for that. Here is the Studio Ghibli one, which I don't know if it features just like Totoro characters or if there are other characters also. So the Studio Ghibli one also has a magnetic closure and oh, it's all sorts of characters. So stay tuned for the advent calendar videos. I'm gonna put these down because they make a lot of noise. <laughs> oh, and last but not least, of course, we need to look at the cheat sheet for the Tokyo Treat Box. Let's find out what everything was. Let's see if I was correct in my adventure here. This is a Mount Fuji green tea cake. So I was close. I said green tea, but it's matcha, an original chocolate. So yummy. Okay, cool. What kind of potato chips did I get? Oh, I was off on those. I said seaweed. They're matcha green tea potato chips. No wonder they were tasty. Okay, those are really good. The sandwich cookie was very tasty, uh, crunchy with a creamy white chocolate center. All right, yeah, those that was very yummy. I really like that. Crunchy chocolate almond bites. So that was the crunky item. Ah, here's the drink. Deca Vita vitamin C drink. What in the world? Sweet potato sable cookie. This was definitely lightly sweet, but it was not super strong. So pretty interesting. Oh, a strong hint of sesame. So remember what I said, sesame? Yeah, that makes sense. Strong hint of sesame. Ice cream candy DIY kit. We skipped that one because that requires some work. <laughs> uh, green apple sour candy ribbon. Yep, blueberry marshmallow. Oh, I thought that was grape. Blueberry, interesting. This is called Gaburichu, not Haichu, Gaburichu soft candy. Very similar to Haichu. Then we have the seafood and veggie broth ramen. Lucky fish. Arare crackers, fish sheep crackers. Let's see, perfectly salted with a light seafood flavor. Yeah, okay, I definitely got the seafood flavor. Then we had the spicy chips that I got at the very beginning. What were these? Okonomiyaki corn chips, corn puffs. Oh, so they're supposed to taste like those okonomiyaki pancakes that you can get in Japan. Interesting. I didn't really get the okonomiyaki from them, but they were very light. It's nice to know that my flavor palette was pretty similar to what these actually were. Okay, that was a long video, but that was a really fun video. I hope that you enjoyed it as well. And if you have any questions about merchandise that's currently available here in the United States, <coughs> vitamin C drink, you made me burp. Feel free to leave a comment down below and I will be more than happy to answer any questions that you have. Thank you so much for subscribing and make sure to enter the giveaway if you have not done so already. Thanks for watching.